the 23-24 WNBL Grand Final decider. Southside and Perth for the championship. And away we go. And men only get fast break points as yet. Miller does there. Down she goes and drains it. That's their style. Get out, run. You've got the green light from your coach to pull up and shoot a transition. And she just brings so much. She is the most experienced player with that Perth Lynx team. And every time she steps on the court, she's had an impact. Speaking of experience. <laughs> it's her own rebound. Ernst into the game for Southside. Dangerous shooter from any position. That's a lovely feed through to Dickie. Talk about somebody else that's had an impact coming in off the bench. Eight for Dickey, seven for Mitchell, five each to Rochi and Jackson. Flies by seven. Mitchell makes it double figures. What have they got in the half court that can get in a two game with which big? Ali Maley, none for six in the first half. Yet to score. Good child. He's got the mask off. Oh, she does too. Megan Husswake courtside. How about the coach-player relationship between Cheryl Chambers and Leilani Mitchell? They won a title together at Sydney. Well, she thought about it. No hurry whatsoever here for Southside. The clock is their friend. Dickie puts it on the floor, elevates, and finishes. Let's go to what works for us now. Just eerily similar to the series two seasons ago. As Dickie puts it over the top for two more. Mix mentioned it at the outset. And the Southside Flyers are champions of the WNBL for the fifth time. They did it the hard way. They become the first team in WNBL history to win a semi-final game three and then a grand final game three. Southside champions.